Hi, my name is Mo, and I'm going to show you how to use Viscofilm presets as a LUT in Final Cut Pro. So I recently wrote a tutorial on my blog on how to do so. So if you would like to skip the video and head to my blog, I've written all the steps there with the workflow. But if not, then continue watching this video. You will require two tools in order to uh, accomplish this. One is from Picture Instruments, which is the Look Converter. It's a very handy, nifty tool that will allow you to convert any look from any app, from, um, from your computer or from your mobile phone, into a lot. So it's a pretty nifty tool. The second uh, tool is the LUT utility from Color Grading Central which will allow you to load your LUTs in Final Cut Pro and apply them to your footage. Alright so let's get started. So let's get started. First thing you should do is save a neutral filter somewhere in your desktop for example and import it into Lightroom. I use Lightroom. And then I'm going to use the fourth pack of Viscofilm to extract a look into a lot. So let's go ahead and do so. I'm going to select this effect over here. Mind the noise in the background. And if the effect or the look or the preset adds sharpening, then you need to remove this, dial it out and remove the grain as well. The grain will be very static and it will look fake and you can add actually grain in Final Cut Pro using some third-party plugins. And as in for uh, the sharpness, you can also add sharpness in Final Cut Pro and you can control the level of sharpness you'd like to add to your footage. Alright, so I'm going to export this and uh, it's the fourth. I'm just going to make a standard, uh, you know, the way I name my files or lots so I don't get lost when I load them. So I think it was the Asia or Asia 100F, and I'm going to export this. <clears throat> now let's use another one. Um, the Fortia or the Fortia, I'm not sure how they call these. And I'm going to just dial out the grain and the sharpening, and I'm going to export them as JPEGs. And I think that's Fortia, that's how it's called. SP. And I think I've used it, overwrite it. Use that already. And, um, well, the Provia. Let's dial out the sharpening. And the grain. Export that. I think I've already did this, but I'm going to override it. Provia. F. Export. Let's do one more and let's do one with the fade. Hmm. Provia 400. Remove the grain. Remove the sharpness. Four hundred plus plus plus. All right. Now we need to to convert those into um, LUTs or three D LUT. And I'm going to do so by using this tool. So it was the fourth package. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna skip one of those. 
and make sure that um, you specify the path to the you know where the lot utility loads the lots from otherwise it won't work all right let's jump to final cut Pro. It's opening up. There we go. I'm going to locate the lot utility. I'm gonna drag one on each clip or footage. I think I did that already before. Yeah. Alright. So let's use one of the um, recent regenerated lots. I think it was the fourth. There we go. So let's see the before and after. This is the before. This is the after. And let's do it for the same guy over here. Um, the fourth or the fourth here. And you can see. You can uh, dial out or you know, control the mix. Using the slider here. Let's use fourth. It'll be a 100 depth. This is the before. This is the after. One more for our guy over here. <clears throat> um, four thousand plus plus plus. Alright, let's use something else that we uh, I have previously uh, generated or exported. The Kodak E200, the Agfa. I remember extracting a an effect from uh, Visco Cam App. I think it was Levi. Levi. I don't know how they call it. There we go. Let's try something else here as well. Something like the Kodak Gold. Let's adjust this. That's pretty much it. If I'd like to add grain, I use Crumple Pop. Let's see, grain. 16mm or 35 and just add it on top of this. I have you know all these controls of the capacity of the grain, the saturation, so forth. And this is pretty it. That's it. You can also extract any effect like I said. Um, let's try one of the effects of the light room that I've used. I think it was muted vintage. Go. Let's adjust this a little bit. Maybe you have such a beautiful um, effect. If you like to add the grain, and just, there you go. You can watch the video I've created of uh, you know using visco film before and after. Um, I've I've shared a lot of examples. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.